Good morning, Beachwood High School. I'm here today to talk to you about our reopening on September 21st. I'd like to talk to you about several different safety procedures and techniques. First off is your mask. Every single day you walk into Beachwood High School and in your classes, you're in the hallways, you're in the restroom, you need to wear your mask. There, there is a proper way to wear your mask at Beachwood High School. The way I have it on right now is absolutely perfect. We do not want to see you wearing your mask in the hallways like this like this or even like this it needs to be completely over your face and please do not wear the mask over your head as well that would be bad again this is one of the most important safety features of Beachwood High School please make sure you're always wearing your mask the school is split this year between A to L and M to Z so the parking lot and the hallways will not have the same amount of clutter this is a friendly reminder that if you're driving your car you should arrive to the parking lot five to ten minutes before school starts, most likely ten minutes, and to be able to get in the building. It's going to be very important for you to walk to the right the entire school year. When you're going to class, when you're walking the hallways, when you're going to the restroom, when you're going to your lockers, please remember to stay to the right and always keep moving. Please walk with a purpose throughout the school year. You know, we cannot congregate in the hallways and we want to make sure we keep moving. Hello, we are now in the Beachwood High School cafeteria. I'd like to go through some of our rules as we talk about social distancing in the cafeteria. The cafeteria this year will be used for study halls and one small partial lunch period. The tables in, this, in the cafeteria are spread out by six to eight feet each and they're either two or three people at a table socially distanced by six feet. Right now I'm gonna show you how that will happen. If you are in the cafeteria for a study hall, you'll notice that on each bench, there is a piece of blue tape that will designate where you sit each time. Your study hall teacher will give you an assigned seat the entire semester for study hall. Please sit on the blue tape. Once study hall is over, your teacher will use the Terminator spray that we'll be talking about later in the classroom to cleanse the tables. In addition, we're gonna talk about next, the water filling station. Hello, now we're here to talk about the water filling stations. This year we can't have our water fountains on, but we can have our water filling stations on. So here's the example. Right here, you'll notice no water fountain. However, the water filling station is still activated and working. So this is a friendly reminder, please make sure you bring your water bottle from home each day and you can fill it up at our three water filling stations in the building. Hello, I'm here today in Mrs. Liu's classroom in the 600 hallway. I wanted to give you an opportunity to see how the desks in Beachwood High School are socially distanced. You'll notice in this classroom, there are six feet between each desk. In addition, there's very little furniture in the classroom as well as very little commercially produced things on the wall. So again, this is how we'll be socially distancing students. In a moment, I'm gonna demonstrate the hand sanitizing stations in each classroom. So at this point, I'm at the hand sanitizing station in Mrs. Liu's classroom. Each classroom is equipped with a hand sanitizing station. If you do not have an opportunity to clean your hands, wash your hands in the restroom, you need to use hand sanitizing stations every time you walk in the classroom. The hand sanitizing stations are equipped with a foam soap and they usually stay on your hands for about 20 seconds, which is perfect for killing germs. Again, here's how they work. And you'll notice the foam. It takes about 20 seconds for the foam to dry. At the end of each class period, your teachers will take the disinfectant and spray each desk down, just like this. During the passing time, which is five minutes at Beachwood High School, the chemical that we're using, known as a terminator, will dry. During this time, students will enter the classroom. If there is slight residue left on a desk during this drying time, Paper towels will be available for students to wipe off the desk. Students, if you do wipe off a desk, please immediately after you wipe off a desk, throw your paper towel away and then use the hand sanitizer. Again, I want to thank you for watching the safety and procedural video. These are the best ways we can stay safe at Beachwood High School this year. I also wanted to show you before you walk in the building on September 21st, our new renovated Karen Kushner Memorial. This is brought to you by Mr. Perry and the marketing department. This was done this summer and I can't wait to show it off. Students, I'm so excited to see you on September 21st. Obviously see you in person, and I can't wait till that day. We'll see you really soon.